hello to everyone watching this footage. So bye I talk to you again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to you. I'm a high function autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley. I'll just cut to the chase. Tartara. Real name, none. Height, 6 feet 6 inches. Weight, 213 pounds. Status, anti-hero and mother of dense dream. Base, Tartarus. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, loving and witty. She enjoys both her job and her family. Lethality, only when angered. Weaknesses, her love for her daughters. Powers, she possesses a variety of demonic powers, along with having a long demonic tail and a pair of long, sharp horns. Eyes, deep red. Hair, deep black and wavy. Origin. At one point, Satana has decided to have a daughter to serve as the secondary ruler of Tartarus. When the child was born, she named the baby Tartara, after her kingdom. After a while, Tartara met and fell in love with a human known as Commander Carnage, the father of General Carnage. However, after she had Deetalus, or Denstrini, Tartara was told by her lover that he needs to protect his pregnant wife, which led to a few arguments in a tragic divorce. After she gave her baby up for adoption, Tartara eventually found and adopted her second daughter, Megalith, or Soulsucker. Recently, when Denstrini visited Tartarus, Satana had Denstrini reunite with her biological mother, who apologized for all the problems in her early days. Since then, she and Denstrini will do anything to protect all innocents. Costume. She wears a set of biker clothes. Team Solitary, with Denstrini or other heroes. Original Inspiration, Demons, and Maternity. Here's the next thing, just so you know. Jungle Worm. Real name, none. Length, 125 feet. Weight, 33 tons. Status, villain, and worm variant. Base, all of the default Earth's jungles. Intelligence, two brains. Behavior, sneaky and relentless. It'll do anything to follow its instincts. Lethality, extremely dangerous to most of its targets. Weaknesses, lack of moisture. It has a soft underbelly. Powers, it has great size and strength, sharp teeth, uncanny burrowing speed, infrared vision, and can spray acidic vomit to dissolve its target. They're also encased with a green armor that solidifies through age. Eyes deep red in total of 16. Hair, scruffy plant structures. Origin. During the evolution of the worm variants, a group of them resided in jungles, eventually evolving into jungle worms. In its life, it's a solitary creature only searching for other jungle worms during mating season. Due to the male having a shorter life expectancy than the female, the male jungle worm would die days before the hatching of their offspring. To protect themselves in their infanthood, the young use their teeth to hook onto their mother until they're old enough to go solitary as well, when they lose their hook teeth. By adulthood, they will repeat the same lifestyle, hunting for whatever meat they could find. Costume, none. Teams, mostly solitary. Original inspiration, graboids, and jungles. Here's the last thing, just so you know. Whirlpool. Real name, unknown. Height, 2,500 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, villain, and master of whirlpools. Base, bottom of the ocean, default earth. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior. Snarky and murderous, she'll do anything to cure her hunger, even if it's a temporary satisfaction. Lethality, it's nearly impossible to escape from her. Weaknesses, dehydration. Powers, she has great size and strength, sharp teeth, can breathe underwater, night vision, and an acute sense of smell. She also has black tentacles for hair and the ability to form a massive whirlpool. Eyes, deep red, formerly light blue. Hair, black tentacles, formerly deep black. Origin. 
She was a spoiled teen who died in the sinking of the Titanic by severe hypothermia. However, Satana decided to reincarnate her into a massive humanoid sea monster with no arms and black tentacles for hair. Since then, Whirlpool resides in the bottom of the ocean, trying to cure her hunger by making an unnatural suction that forms a whirlpool 25 miles in circumference, earning her name. If someone successfully avoids the whirlpool, they might get grabbed by one of her tentacles. Whirlpool can also travel on land for only 45 minutes before getting dehydrated. However, she can only die if the planet gets destroyed, then she would finally phase into the next life. Costume. She wears a black waterproof leotard that helps her blend in. Team Solitary or with other villains or duration. Sea Monsters and Reincarnation. Well, those are the three characters I'm going to introduce. And I have to apologize for whether or not that transmission video from Madame Shu was of any success. I tried to help her speak her mind through the fourth wall, and yet it was only like nine views in two days, which is unsettling if you ask me. I just really need something to work. You know how it is. Um, I also have made a new data sheet for my Levitt's Paradigm, which is affiliates, as far as I know, which should help with comprehension when it comes to who is affiliated with who and so forth. You know? And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. It's your choice. Hope you guys have a decent rest of the month and such, and until next time, in transmission.